Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing something different. Yep, I'm actually going to be reviewing a game. And what better game to start with than a good game? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I don't want you guys getting brain damage, I'm going to skip this phrase so you don't get killed by the brain damage of this. Pringles can. Yeah, I'm going to skip my Pringles can, okay? Alright, so... Yeah, Sonic, you remember Sonic, yeah, he's the thing of many childhoods, not mine personally, although I beat the game. Yeah, pretty good game, I'll say so. Yeah, and I'm going to review this awesome game. Or am I? Uh, on the second level, with, well that's a little different. I'm sure it's nothing. Oh yeah, there's a menu now. And what what the heck? You know you're in for it when you see Sonic actually bleeding his eyes out. I think it's got whatever the heck it's called. But hey, that maybe that's just a weird quirk on the title screen. Right? Okay, so it wasn't a weird quirk, <laughs> right? Yeah, it wasn't. Alright, let's just keep going. This place is freaking me out. Oh, what? Uh, oh, God! Sonic X, he's coming for me. Oh, Jesus. What the heck was that? Yeah. Better to wonder what's going on. Well, this isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. This is an ordinary Sonic ROM hack. Yeah, my butt's more ordinary than that. Alright, so here's the deal. You have to find... So when the screen goes like that, it stays normal for the first 12 and a half seconds, then you go to hell. Stay here too long, you die. The red rings don't help. You see these monitors? Wait for faggot EXE to come at me. Nope, just hit the monitors and you're going back to heaven. Or normal land. I don't know why the speed up power up is not normal. It's not playing its music. <laughs> Blast processing is a lie. Hold on. I don't trust you mothers. Go, go, go! And if you reach the end, and it's, it's still in EXE land, then you die. Simple as that. Excuse me. Green Hell Zone, or Hill, actually, it's, it's Hell Zone when you die. Basically, this level has a lot of problems for me because of that. But when you also can't kill any, any enemies in Hell. So yeah, I gotta hit the monitors. So remember this infamous little ditty from the original game? Yeah, it's hard as hell. <coughs> oh, I'm clever. Due to the fact that you have to hunt monitors in this game, you have to go in other ways. Like, I'm, in, I'm still in Green Hell Zone too. So you have to go down here, which normally you wouldn't even go down here. You have to come down here if you want to make it to the end of the level of time. Alternatively, there was that one area. But yeah, you have to hit this one. You have to be careful too. Because if you hit it at the wrong angle, you die. You'll go through the platform and you'll be stuck because of that loop de loop. It's a harsh game, I tell ya. Green Hill Zone 3. Uh, this is where I learned about the odd thing about the... Alright, can I get it? If you hit that time, it'll either last longer than normal land. Or... 
or um, it'll take longer for Sonic X to appear. Nine times that. That's what happens. It'll take them longer to appear. Never freak out. That's guaranteed to get you screwed. And if you die in Sonic EXE land, you see a jump scare. Both fights work bizarrely in this game. Now, nothing really changes about the bosses, except for one harsh, harsh factor. It still switches from how I'm back, and you have to hit him four times to make him drop a monitor. And that can happen too, which is really harsh. Yeah, you have to hit him four times to make him drop a monitor. Or else they get you. And it's not pretty. Robotnik, yeah, see, I guess. <laughs> Drop the monitor every four hits, but the problem is you have to watch her and jump in or you'll get hit. And in the EXE world, you, your rings are red. All rings are red. Collect it or not. This fight can go on for a long time since. That's what we have to watch out. But the biggest threat to you, of course, is that if you don't hit Sonic X fast, hit fast enough, he is going to catch you. Well, that's Green Hill Zone. Now, for the Marble Zone. Yeah, this place is really harsh. And this is the music that will haunt my dreams forever. This place took me forever to figure out how to beat. What? It's just a platform, Alec. But yeah, Marvel Zone is considerably slower paced, which is what makes it so annoying. No, not I'm dead. There's one part in the second Marvel Zone Act Two where. You have to get jump past a couple of caterpillars. The problem is, you'll usually be in hell by the time you reach that area. And since you can't kill your enemies in hell, you have to have rings. But you're probably not going to have rings by the time you reach that. And so you have to... But if you do have rings, you gotta jump on them. If you don't have rings, you gotta jump past them. And it is a harsh, harsh thing. I'm gonna show you the spring yard zone. Fortunately, since there's a little flat thing. Yeah. By the way, a major problem with EXE hacks is this block. It can't seem to render it properly. I don't know why. This, this level has the hill music. Nope. <laughs> oh no, I am doomed. Yeah, there's no way I can make it. Me. Now that's clever. Spring Yard Zone is super difficult. But that's nothing compared to what was thought to be the hardest zone in the entire game. The Labyrinth Zone. Yeah. You thought Labyrinth Zone was bad. Well, imagine it now. Well, enough talk about the Labyrinth Zone or the Spring Yard. Never seem to be able to beat Spring Yard Zone Act One, probably because of that part. In this, you almost always have to spring back up, or else that thing will start jumping around at you. And there's that annoyance.
And this annoyance. Oh, yeah, let's not forget these giant spiked balls. Which block your way. Oh, there's no way I can make it. And trust me, it's possible. I'm just really bad at this. <laughs> Spring Yard Zone is enough to give people nightmares. Here with the, these blocks. Because it allows him to get even closer and closer to you. And you can't do anything about it. It's all like this big open-ish area. That happens, you're in big trouble, man. I'm dead. I guess what happens when you die in EXE land. That. And. Let's go to the But, if you think any of that's bad, just wait till you see the nightmare that is the labyrinth. Yeah. Also, the last two zones, the Starlight Zone, the Scrap Drive Zone, and the Final Zone, weren't completed in time. And if you hit four times, that happens. But, yeah, you thought any of these were bad? We to see the Labyrinth Zone. It's bad enough having to worry about lag, or having to watch it where you're going very carefully, but imagine having to do that while a psychotic Paranormal creature is chasing after you. If not for the weak hearted. Not for the faint of heart. Not for the faint. Not for the people who are busy fainting. <laughs> and the water is now blood. Sure, why not? Hasta la bye bye. Oh man, the slippery platforms truly make this a nightmarish experiment. Experience. <laughs> I breathed the bubble. I've never been able to beat this. Actually, come to think of it, I think I did beat it once. Well, maybe the first one is hard. But can you imagine the last part of this? That would be almost impossible to beat. And I'm drowning. I don't like you, Sonic EXE. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Yeah. And imagine not even being able to pick up your rings after. Oh, and yeah. Also, as another result and side effect, the Labyrinth Zone's kind of glitchy. Let's see what it looks like. Mm. Yeah, but did you see that closely? It did that glitchy thing. But when I hit the box, it glitched out. That's lovely. And now this part, I could barely ever get past. Except apparently when I'm recording it, oh great, it's about to glitch out big time, isn't it? The background is so red. Yep, you're doomed. Yep, that's an ordinary Sonic Realm hack. Give it a go. It is one of the most difficult games of all time. It is hard, and it's literally just the original game. It's called an ordinary Sonic Realm hack. Bye bye.